guys, we're just coming back with another Call of Duty mobile video, and today we got a huge, huge update in preparation for Season 2, which will be coming the 25th, which is this Monday, which I cannot wait. It's going to be a brand new Battle Pass, along with new modes, and just a bunch of other stuff that they've promised, so we'll just have to see about that. But for now, I mean, it's kind of strange, it is on a Saturday, but they kind of pushed a ton of content regardless, you know, before Season 2, which is a bit strange. Uh, but first off, before we go ahead and continue on this video, I do want to like, kind of explain to you guys why I've been kind of away, uh, not making videos and stuff. I've been having some issues with my stomach. I don't know how it started, but basically I've been having a lot of burning pain in my stomach. And I went to the doctor finally, because uh, I just, I could not sleep. Uh, and apparently my stomach is making too much acid, so it literally just burns constantly. And after so much burning, it just feels very sensitive. And so, like, let's just say I can't walk, like, for long distances, and it's just not comfortable. So I finally got a prescription for medicine that's supposed to, like, reduce the amount of acid. I've had this, like, years ago, um, so I guess it's just something. Anyways, anyways, season two, coming out on Monday. But there is a ton of stuff to impact here. I'll put the entire patch notes uh, down in the description. If you guys like to just, just straight right into the gameplay, I'll put the timer right now. Um, but anyways, let's talk about this update, guys. My impressions, my first impressions, what's in the patch notes, kind of the most important ones. Uh, so let's do it. So first off, it is a winter-themed kind of thing. So there is now a brand new map, Summit, which is a Black Ops 1 map, which is awesome. Um, along with that, I mean, of course, there's some new areas in Battle Royale. There is now Zombies, which is awesome. So there is now Raid Modes as well as um, a Survival Mode, which is a classic. Um, and what's interesting is, apparently, I mean, what people are saying, it's kind of pay to win because you can buy from a crate, which I'll show you guys later, um, a special skin that, that you can get out of the box. You can use a skin in multiplayer, but in multiplayer, it doesn't have the zombie skills, so you don't need to worry about that. Um, but essentially, you can go to Wonder Weapon and get, um, I think, I believe, Rhino, just the HD40 out of, a, out of a case, which is cool. It's animated, but it has certain attributes for zombies. So, in a way, kind of pay to win, because the only way to get this is from the crate, and technically, this could help you win or get, you know, higher rounds. Sort of. I, again, this, this game has been kind of iffy with the pay-to-win aspect. Uh, but so far, multiplayer, I mean, it hasn't really seemed to. Some people have really have not been having a big deal about it. But anyways, so um, just beginning just beginning in higher rounds, you guys are able to get um, rewards. You can either get straight up like one of the epic items here, or you can get sort of like a piece for it, like a puzzle piece. And then I believe the epics, you need like 100 pieces of those to actually fully unlock it. Uh, for the blues, I think it's a little bit less than that. Um... But yeah, so again, very, very cool. I'll have some gameplay of that sometime. Uh, probably, I'll probably record today or something and upload this week. Um, we'll see. Um, on top of that, we have brand new cases, which is absolutely insane. They completely revamped the store here. So we have the zombie weapon crate, which is HD40 lava. Um, and that, I mean, you can use this skin in multiplayer, but the certain attributes it has uh, does not work for zombies. Only the MP only one. Um, along with that, we have the season golden crate which looks so so cool which i have not had the chance to get unfortunately um but yeah we have these two awesome really cool skins on top of that the icr is here and it's a brand new weapon it's not like a it's not a copy of the m4 if you actually compare this to the m4 it's actually different so it's different sounding different attributes it's a completely different gun um it's kind of unfortunate that they put it right now only in a crate you can only get this gun from the crate because there's no like like normal version of it it's only this skin and um i actually got it so i would not recommend guys i'm gonna tell you straight up i would not recommend doing this i spent a lot of money and it took me about 80 crates to get which is, uh, it's, uh, not very good, but, uh, there you guys have it. So I'll have gameplay for you guys in this video, along, uh, with the Summit new map. Uh, along with that, I mean, well, this was actually, uh, a few days ago they released that, but I've not had a chance to get that. Um, and that's pretty much it. Uh, and then on top of that, I guess, um, there are, there is the M21 EBR Real Crimson, which I don't really care for. I'm, I'm just gonna save my COD credits for something better. Um... But yeah, that is pretty much it. And then, 
If you go ahead and spend, I think about $25, I think it is. It might be different depending on your region. You get this melee weapon, which is the Ice Axe, which is shattered. I wish it was um, uh, animated, but uh, I mean, this is cool regardless. Um, so there's that. Uh, on top of that, um, the ranking system will be a whole lot better for the ranked. So you'll be able to get matches quicker. Um, the point system will be a little bit different. So it'll help you out that way. Uh, controller support is now in the game. So if you go to settings, you can go to controller and hook up your controller. Now, I do want to let you guys know something, though, with controllers. If, if you have a controller hooked up to the game, you will only be put in lobbies with people with controllers. Unless... Unless, let's say, um, I always play on my iPad. If I have a friend of mine in my party who has a controller, I'll also play with controller people. So, it, it mixes that way. So, that's good. Um, on top of that, there'll be new time-limited modes, which we'll see here very, very soon, which is the one-shot, one-kill mode, which is one in the chamber, essentially. Uh, Sticks and Stones is coming. Prop Hunt. So, very, very nice stuff. Uh, Raid has been completely revamped into a kind of festive holiday. Um, there'll be a new Operator skill very soon, which is going to be the Gravity Spikes, which is... From Black Ops, you're the guy that smashes the ground with spikes and it just completely obliterates anyone near him. Uh, and there will also be a brand new score streak, which, um, the drone. But there's also been another one that's been leaked, which is the Goliath, which, like, essentially like a juggernaut. You get in, like, a metal suit and you have, a like, a minigun. It's pretty cool. Uh, but so far, the only one we've been seeing is the drone. Uh, on top of that, some just improvements in Battle Royale. Um... In terms of nerfs and buffs and all that, so they definitely made movement a lot smoother, a lot better. So, um, like reloading works now, like there's no bug with that. Uh, you can now uh, shoot like while hip firing and then aiming at the same time. Um, they increased slightly the fire rate of the LK24, which I'll show you guys here. They increased the chick hum damage, which is interesting. I will test out that. Uh, they increased the damage of the shotguns. They increased the range of the HG40. They increased the distance of the DL sniper, which is kind of weird. Um, they increased the recoil of the two LMGs, uh, and they kind of nerfed the AKS recoil-wise, which I don't really notice all that much. Um, they apparently reduced forward movement speed a little bit, which is interesting. Um, they improved bullet hit. Ba basically, a bunch of stuff has just been re revamped. Um, this update is looking pretty, pretty good, I'll say. For my first impressions, not bad. I like it. I'm going to have to get used to all the weapons now, the movement. Everything's kind of changing every update. Uh, but yeah, I'll have you guys some gameplay of zombies pretty soon. But without further ado, let's get some ice air gameplay in Summit. And let's get to it. Alright, guys. On to... Alright, guys. We just got into a game. going to be using the ICR... Dark Matter with the brand new Ice Axe. And I forgot to mention, they also fixed the MSMC, so it's now like a completely different gun, which I absolutely love. But, uh, here we go. Enemy taking a. They also changed a bit of the scoreboard, kind of just how it looks. But, uh, here we go. This is the ICR skin, man. It looks, uh, freaking amazing. Alright, alright. Uh, but the attachments I got on this gun, I have Quick Draw, Grip. Uh, Bravo. and fast mags, I believe. Losing Charlie. Losing ooh. Uh, they also messed with- Ooh, this guy has the M4. I'll definitely grab that. A. Um, they also messed with Lost the minimap a tiny, tiny bit. Capture they made it a bit smaller and easier to UAV see, recon, which is interesting. That's recon, honestly a lot, very welcome change. Oh god, there's a lot of people here. Lost Bravo. Alright, just kinda hoping the guy would push. Thank you. UAV online. These guys are definitely gonna spawn right here. Losing A. What? How did the grenade not kill anyone? I'm so confused, dude. Objective almost complete. Oh, that's no bueno. Um. Two. All right, you're going on the 
Uh, God. That guy's gonna go right there. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Reloading. Gotta say, man, this game feels like so much smoother. I can't really explain it until you guys, like, get your hands on it and play. But, oh, okay, that, there's a new scoreboard, too. That's pretty cool. Interesting, dude. We're 17 0. We're actually uh, pretty close to the nuke. Alright, let's go and cap this flag really quick. Actually, I'm gonna go over here. We're capturing C. Are they gonna grab B or maybe not? Where are you guys going? Losing Alpha. Recon ready for deployment. Thank you very much. We're capturing Bravo. We're capturing B. Oh boy. No, I'm not going there. Nope. Come here. Capturing wow, dude. Reloading. Losing A. Capturing Bravo. Uh, is there? Wait. I haven't gone the nuke yet. How many kills is it? Did they increase it? What? All right. Well, I got it. Wait. Twenty-three. Okay. I might have gotten three kills with like. Molotov, I guess. Alright, nice, nice, nice. Well, there you guys have it. Let me go and use this. There you go. It still takes the same amount of time to call it in, dude. It still takes the same amount of time. Jeez. But there you go. I got the nuke with the ICR on the brand new map. It's pretty nice. There you go. This gun is, uh, honestly, dude, honestly, this gun is not too bad. It doesn't feel like the Black Ops 3 ICR, honestly, but I, I know it is the ICR. Anyways, that's gonna be, uh, that's gonna be the video, guys. A lot of stuff to impact here. I'm gonna be posting a lot of content next few days. I'm um, not going to lie, my stomach is killing me, but I'm going to try my best to um, get what I can for you guys. Um, let me check if the thing is a little different. Nope, it looks pretty much the same. Nice. So we went 28 and 1. The scoreboard looks a little bit different. But alright, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next one.